Hey everybody, welcome to Board Game Heaven. My name is Raymond and in this video I'll be doing an unboxing of the expansion for Altar Quest called Ruins of Arkenspire along with the first four, a hero expansion for uh, Altar Quest as well by Blacklist Games. If you want to see the unboxing of Altar Quest, the core game, just click the link in the description below or the I in the corner of this video. But let's just quickly open up these boxes and see what's inside. Okay, let's start with the first four. Four additional heroes for Altar Quests. Small box with the contents listed here, the four miniatures and their cards and some tokens as well. All right, let's open up this box. Okay, and tokens. Okay, so let's see here. Leaflet tokens. So we have some of these tokens here. We have some traps, music, uh, all seeing eye. All right, so tokens. And then we have additional rules for the first four. So a uh, bit of a story there, apparently. Overview, content. Expansion icon explained, and that's that. Okay, so let's take a look at them. We have their uh, dividers as well. <laughs> then we got all of these cards. All right, so uh, let's just quickly open those up and take a look. So these are all the Willow Banks cards. There's some here as well, yes. These are cards for Karen Harrick, and these are for Gavin, and there are some more in here. So there, and the remaining cards are for Eveth Namura. So let's take a look at those then. Okay, so here's a character card. He's got some equipment, trident, a tome, and his skills, swift strike. Might through magic, mind over body, chanted weapons, hydro blasts, discerning eye, tales of heroism, runes, runes, is it runic manipulation? Hmm. Swift strike again. Oh yeah, these are the extra cards. One for each of their skills. All right, so that's Aveth. Now let's take a look at Karen Harrick. Karen Harrick, put that one on the back. She's got a crossbow, cool. A Farseer and her skills, lying in wait. And all of these cards have some really nice uh, unique artwork for each different card. And it's always nice to have some extra heroes to add to your base game. So yeah, I'm, I'm glad I, I decided to pick those up as well. Let's see, I think, yes, Gavin. He's the Sword of Ulrich. So that's where those tokens are for. Leading the charge, lead by example. A valiant stand, sacred ground. So yeah. Yep, and those are his cards. And lastly, we've got Willow Banks. All right, so I guess this is her character card. Her loot, her slingshot, and a balloon. She's a bard, which is cool. 
rousing finale. <laughs> Merry minstrel. Okay, a minstrel. Fine. Song of violent valor. A verse of diversion. <laughs> All right. And a hero reference card. Okay, cool. Did they all have one? I think so. Okay, so that fits in here. But they also have these dividers, so you can put those in the core box. Although, I think if you sleeve them, that might not fit anymore. But anyway, let's take a look at the minis. And the same light blue plastic as the ones in the core game. And you can check out the unboxing of the core game by clicking the i in the corner of this video or by clicking the link in the description below i have made separate videos for each and again these minis are pretty nicely detailed the uh, light color does kind of hide some of the detail but I think if you prime these to paint, that a lot of that detail will pop. So here's the halfling with the crossbow. And some bolts on her back. Is she carrying the loot as well? Like, uh, there's a trap there. Not seeing the loot. That's a shame. That would be cool if she had the loot slung across the back. Oh, actually, no, wait, <laughs> that is the one with the loot. This is Willow Banks. Oh, so wait, if this is a, is this a Dwarven lady? And this the Halfling? Oh, that would be cool. A Dwarven lady. You don't see those very often. <laughs> so here is Willow with the loot, yes. The big backpack. Yeah, that's nice. It's really cool. And here's the the paladin, the fierce warrior with this big armor and his large sword. Really cool. You can see the pendant with a crest on his uh, breastplate there. Yep. All right. So these are the first four. Uh, extra heroes. I'll just put that underneath. So let's move on to the Ruins of Arkenspire. And here is the box for Ruins of Arkenspire. Nice art on the cover with the heroes from the core game. Some uh, enemies there, monsters. And on the back of the box, we have some art. It's a bit bright. Let me just tilt that a bit. So there's a uh, red knight, some cards, some uh, of these encounter tiles, and some of the minis pictured there, and a list of the contents and some uh, background text. All right, let's open it up. Okay, so first of all, we have the Ruins of Arkenspire story guide. So, uh, has chapters like the stories in the core game, which I will just briefly flip through just to see how many there are. So there were six and an appendix, just like in the core game. So basically doubles the amount of quests. All right, here we go. We have the rules leaflet, basically just this single leaflet here. And there's an overview and content. So basically there's not a whole lot uh, to learn. So uh, just these, the way you set up these encounters, which is new. There's two secret boxes in the game that I will not open in this unboxing because I don't want to keep them a secret myself and some more encounter rules. So there are these uh, encounter boards with all kinds of icons on them on where you spawn things, I guess. The monsters in the corners there, 
players there. Tombstones and these uh, fence the gates. And this one is called Grave Disturbances. Mm. And here on the back is the Arkenhold. Nice looking dungeon, again with some icons here and there. So, uh, yeah, cool looking dungeon there. And from these stairs, the monsters will come pouring in there. All right, nice. Then we've got uh, a camp ambush. So we've got the encampment here, fire going on there. And from the bushes, the uh, monsters will enter the map. And you can get some gear there, it seems. And on the back, we have In Trouble. <laughs> It's an inn with some, you know, tables, food. Here's the bar, stairs leading up. That's pretty cool. So a bar fight. <laughs> and there is the tray with the minis and the cards. So let's take a look at that. So these are the two boxes. Do not open until instructed. So I won't, there's nothing underneath. And uh, yes, there will be something inside here. Probably some cards, maybe a mini, who knows. Some more of these dividers to keep your cards organized. And minis, I'll take a look at those in a bit. Let's take a look at the cards first. So first we have four overview cards for every player. So with the hero turn on one side and a threat, villain, and encounter turn on the other. So you can give each player one of these. Then we've got some more equipment cards, which is cool. So just like in the core game, you've got equipment cards, and these just add to the game. So some new things you can find, all with their unique artwork. That looks really cool. So yeah, look at that. Some really lovely artwork. So we have those. Next, we have Into the Arkenspire. So I'll just leave that here. So Into the Arkenspire, just flip through them really fast. Because again, just like with the core game, don't want to give away too much, but just to peek at the art. That is really cool. Then we've got the Thane of Nethander, which is probably the bad guy. The big boss, or one of them. Yeah, so he's got his own skills, his own cards. Yep, nice. Runes of Arc Inspire cards. And some Lurkers. So yeah, these are again some things you can encounter cool art, things that will progress you along the story. And we got Lurker, so all of these monsters from this expansion can also be added to the Lurker deck. The Wandering Monsters. So let's open up the next package. So these are cards for all those maps we had. So we had the Arkenhold, Grave Disturbances, In Trouble, <laughs> and Camp Ambush, or Camp Ambush. So yeah, there's, there's those with, you know, the campfire, the tree stumps, the stuff that you can do there, packs, loose branches, fire watch, search the perimeter, edge over the light. So that's one of them, the in trouble tile, some creepy guests, <laughs> tables, ale, hey, yes, panicked patrons. Clear out. And the last call. So it seems they have a spot of trouble with some zombies there. Grave disturbances. Some more undead. Mm -hmm. Cool. Blasphemers. Blasphemers. <laughs> Sanctify the earth. Unbridled necromancy. 
Mm. Cool. And finally, the Ark and Hold, which has prisoners, ghosts of prisoners, it seems, cells, shackles, rioting, prison break. Well, now, ancient wardings. Okay. So, lastly, we have these cards, the Profane, so the new monster faction, basically. And feature cards. So we have three feature cards. There's a coffin. Oh, two. Two feature cards. And Ceres Chosen. Okay. And then these are the uh, profaned monster cards. So you got a wretch. A revenant. What was this? A profane shambler. And we'll see the minis of those. And Haunting Effigy. You growing dread. So let's take a look at the minis for that, shall we? So we have these these ghosts here in a translucent blue plastic. So it's a bit hard to show you the um, the detail on these, but it's pretty cool. Two axes. I can make out the face. So yeah, five of these in the box. Then we have these undead. Shambling with their swords drawn. And they're uh, walking a bit cross-legged because they're, you know, undead, wielding that heavy sword, wearing the heavy armor, weighing down on them. It's pretty cool. So five of those. Then we have these ghouls here. Uh, there you go. Creepy looking person. Ghoul with a bone. Eating the dead. Pretty muscular there. Nice. So five of those. Then we have this guy here, some kind of boss, and he looks like a statue. Yeah, it looks like he's got some kind of goat face with the horns on top there, and the nose, eyes on the side, or the eye sockets, I should say. Big eye sockets. And he looks like he's made of stone because he's got these cracks all over him. See that along the boots and the what's supposed to be cloth and the skin. Even the spear he's wielding is cracked. So that's pretty cool. A statue coming to life or something. Nice. And then there's the bad guy, the Thane of Nathander. There he is. Some kind of lich. Creepy looking face. He's got something covering his, his eyes. It seems some kind of mask. And he's got this big tome on a chain. Some kind of Book of the Dead. It's got a skull on it. Necronomicon or something. Yeah. Really nice. And there's this uh, coffin, which looks really cool. Lots of detail there, engraved in the wood. This Batman sign. <laughs> Here lies Batman. Some detail along the sides there. Yep, cool. I believe that is everything that's in the box. Let me just make sure there's nothing underneath. Uh, nope. All right. So that was everything in the ruins of Ark Inspire. And so that was my unboxing of the Altar Quest expansions Ruins of Ark Inspire and the first four by Blacklist Games. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. 
Don't forget to subscribe and perhaps also consider becoming a Patreon saint to my channel by clicking the link to my Patreon page in the description below or at the end of this video. And there you can see how you can support my channel, which is greatly appreciated, really helps me make more content. And you'll also get your name in the credits of all of my videos. That's it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time on Board Game Heaven.